Hey, today I'm gonna give you guys a day in our life. Uh, it's a normal homeschool day for us. We probably, um, I think it should be. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned. So I just got up. It's around eight o'clock. I don't know. We're late risers here. Uh, the girls are still in bed. I think uh, I did call to them and tell them time to get up, but I don't know if they're up yet. I'm going to go make coffee now. Okay, coffee. Please brew. I need you. Goes. All right, while that's brewing, I'm going to go make sure the girls are getting up and probably start getting my little guy breakfast. He likes to eat as soon as he wakes up. So I'm uh, gonna go do that now. All right, my little guy decided he didn't want breakfast yet. So while I'm waiting for the coffee, I'm gonna put away the clean dishes that are on the counter and uh, the clean dishes from the dishwasher. All right, time for coffee. Also making my little guy a cup of tea with honey because he has a cough. Sure, he's had a cold and finally seen me better, but now he woke up this morning with like a little bit of a cough. So I'm gonna get some tea with honey. And I'm gonna get a coffee. I was not quite ready, yet, done yet, but I already put some sugar in there before I put the coffee in. Uh, the morning, I don't have to have this soup, but like, if I have coffee in the afternoon, I like it to be kind of a treat. So I'll have a little bit of soup. So. Alright. Yell at my teenager again to get up <laughs> uh, and clean up some stuff that we left out yesterday. The kids, so Mondays are kind of like our light day and like our extra day. And we've been learning about um, inventors, um, specifically African American inventors. So the kids are, have each chosen uh, an inventor to do a project on. So we worked on that yesterday. We also worked on our president study, which we had planned to start, you know, like, I don't even think it was this school year. I think it was the last school year I planned to start it. We never did. So we started that yesterday. Um, yeah, so we just kind of did fun stuff. I think we played some games. I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, they watched some videos on some of um, on the inventors that they chose and we read some we read about them and the girls read books about them and took notes. Um, my little guy did like a coloring page, it's really cute. And so I'll definitely share those. Maybe I'll do a video about those, I don't know. Um, but I'll share this with you guys and I'll share it down below. I'll put a link where I got um, some printables for my little guy. Uh, it was a really fun website. It's called, um, I wanna say it's called Seeds of Melanin. I'm not 100% sure, I'll definitely double check them tell you later if once I double check I'm pretty sure that's, that's what it is um, but they have a YouTube channel with videos and then they have on their website tons of different activities some are free some you have to pay for um, but lots of really really good resources um, so it was perfect for like preschool age but definitely could go into like elementary um, yeah so I'm gonna go just trying to get the day going so I'll see you guys later Hi. While I'm waiting for them to get up and get moving and get ready to eat breakfast, I'm going to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, I, I find it to be kind of relaxing, and but it's one of those things that you, I guess you don't have to keep up with it every day, but there are things you should do every day. And so um, I didn't play yesterday, so now I'm like, oh man, now I'm really going to play. So I'm going to do that while I drink my coffee. So hold on, I'll show you. Alright, so I'm waiting for it to load. This is the worst part because it takes forever. 
Okay, here's my little character. I don't know why I'm wearing a bear, bear costume. <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm gonna go get dressed. My favorite part is decorating my house. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed and play for a few minutes. <laughs> So I just finished making my hubby dinner, dinner breakfast. Um, I sometimes eat, sometimes don't. It just depends on my mood. Usually a lot of times I'll grab something when I sit down to do schoolwork with the kids. Um, so that's probably what I'll do today because I'm not super hungry right now. But what I am going to do is I'm going to clean up the library shelf over there. I have some a stack of books on the floor over there that need to be put away. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try to straighten up the school room, playroom real quick. My younger two are done with breakfast. My 13 year old's still eating. She just sat down to eat breakfast. Um, so I'm waiting for her. I was just listening to, while I was cooking breakfast, I was listening to and watching, uh, my friend Alex. Um, she did a reading vlog and I was watching that. Um, I lo love always hearing her um, takes on books and stuff and she always gets me very interested in books but then there's some books that she'll do like a review on or um, she'll post on Instagram or whatever and then I'm like mm, no I don't want to read that one <laughs> um, yes there's been a lot of books that she's posted that like she'll um, just kind of like trauma warnings and stuff like that and I'll be like mm, yeah no I can't read that so um <clears throat> But I'm always interested to hear what she has to say. So I'll po post, um, post. Oh my God, I can't talk this morning. I will put a link to her channel down below, uh, Alex at Stay at Home Reader. So uh, yeah, definitely if you're interested, if you're a reader, definitely check her out. Yeah, so I'm gonna go over there and clean. <laughs> <clears throat> I talk about this um this is the book that we had originally um grabbed from the library and so we just kind of read through I read through each like it's a lot of information um definitely too much even for my fourth grader fine but definitely too much for my little guy um my 13 year old obviously could handle it but so what I did was I just went through each person and what they invented or what they were what they were known for um so then they each picked a person to do a project on so actually this is who my um my four-year-old picked was Garrett Morgan and he invented basically invented the gas mask which is really cool and also oh god i'm losing my balance um also like redesigned and basically invented kind of like our modern stoplight so that's kind of cool so he's um he colored a worksheet yesterday of the stoplight and the gas mask and it also had a little illustration of garrett morgan on it so he colored that and then he also i printed from it is called uh, I'm pretty sure it's Seeds of Melanin. I will put a link down below. <clears throat> they had a little printable where you could print out and you actually make a stoplight. So it's really cute. Uh, so we're doing that along with that. So my fourth grader, she picked my nine-year-old. She picked, um, oh, George Washington Carver. I totally forgot who she picked. And my 12th grader picked, um, Madam C.J. Walker. So she has a couple books that I got from the library for her that she's been reading through and just taking notes. And I think she's, so the assignment was for the two of them to write a paragraph and then do some type of art project if they want to, um, you know, sketch what the person invented or whatever. I didn't care. They could have done a portrait of the person, some type of creative thing. Um, but I think what my 13 year old's gonna do is um, a timeline of her life. And um, basically I told her she has to have, if she's gonna do that, she has to have at least 10 points. 
and um, illustrate them in some way. So have basically like a note or whatever and she doesn't have to illustrate all of them. I told her I want maybe at least half of them illustrated. And she likes art so it's not like a big deal but um yeah so that's what I'm doing. My little guy's just doing like fun little craft projects and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing. This is the original book. It's called Black Stars African American Inventors. So yeah um this is the list of inventors that it that are in there definitely a lot we learned a lot like there was a, a lot that I um, had never heard of um and it was very interesting to see a lot of the things that they did so yeah we also used this book my um nine-year-old there's um George Washington Carver is in here and it's a graphic novel it has Benjamin Franklin um Samuel B Morse Thomas Edison Alexander Graham Bell George Washington Carver Henry Ford um, I'm going to say that guy's name wrong. I don't know <laughs> how to pronounce that. So I'm just going to show you and, um, the Wright brothers. And it's basically like two, like two or three pages of each person, but it's a graphic novel. So she was able to read through that really quick, um, and took notes from it. And she actually did really good. That was the first time I've given her the assignment of like reading something and taking notes. And she did a great job. I'm really, really proud of her. Um, and totally had enough information though. It was only one thing that I told her, we watched a video on him. And so it was one thing I told her to add from the video that he was the first, um, African American to graduate with a bachelor of science. So that was really awesome. Um, so I had her like, I was like told her to add that into her notes, but she did really good, like had the, oh, there was one other thing when he died <laughs> and like she had when he was born and like basic information about him and his accomplishments. Um, so I said, well, usually when you do a biography, you need to include when the person um, died. So she's going to do for her art project, I think she's going to draw a, um, a peanut plant and kind of label the parts of the plant because since he was a scientist, he was a botanist. So I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, and then what she's going to do is she's going to draw peanuts and on each and maybe like 10 peanuts and on each peanut, she's going to write one of the things that he came up with to do with peanuts. So, so it's kind of fun. Um, she'll be able to like label all the parts of the plant and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, it's kind of been our Monday project, so it won't get done. Um, for, I don't know, probably maybe next week. I think we could finish it next week. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Let me get back to putting books away. So I actually just pulled these off the shelf. Um, a local um, lady, she had, I guess during COVID had like pulled her child out to homeschool, but then ended up sending them back to public school. So she was just giving away some resources that she had um, bought. So I grabbed these from her, Two Truths and a, lie, and a Lie. So this one's Histories and Mysteries, and this one says It's Alive. So we've never used these. I haven't even, like the kids kind of flipped through them, but we haven't read any of them. But today is Tuesday. So it is February 22nd. And... I was looking up just like fun ideas and one of the things was to do like play two truths and a lie so I was like oh wait I have those books so we're probably going to do a couple of these today um I also the other activities which I'm going to do is you set a timer for two minutes and you challenge your kids to do something um so what I've come up with with my 13 year old I'm going to have her I think what I'm going to have her do is name like name presidents or states or something along those lines in two minutes however many she can name in two minutes um and then for my nine-year-old I'm thinking just like something really simple I don't know I was thinking either writing her two times tables like which she could definitely do in two minutes no problem um or just see how far she could get into two times in two minutes um or like writing down as many nouns as she can in two minutes or as many adjectives as she can in two minutes. And for my little guy, I'm going to give him blocks, I think, and see 
how high he could stack them in two minutes or um, what he could build in two minutes. Something along those lines. So we'll see um, what we do today and I'll share with it that later. Um, today's well, it's going to be a normal school day for us, but then I'm adding these extra activities in, which isn't, which isn't abnormal. I often add extra activities besides our basic core subjects. Yeah, I'm going to go see if my teenager's done eating breakfast so that we can get moving with our day. She's not only gets up late, later than I would like. Um, it's just a huge deal. I don't know. But she's also a slow eater. So that makes it more frustrating, I think. I think if she got up late and then ate quickly, it wouldn't bother me as much. But I'm like, I wait and wait, wait for her to get up. And then she gets up and then she just takes forever to eat breakfast. So I'm going to bring these out there um, and figure out exactly what we're going to do today and kind of figure out our schedule. We don't have like an order that we do subjects in. It's kind of just however it happens. So <laughs> I'm going to go figure that out. At six, good. Six, six. No, wait, <laughs> where's seven? Seven, eight. Good job. Now eight. Eight, eight. No, you know that that's not eight. Can you sit down, please? Eight. Eight. No. And I asked you eight before and you found it. Remember which one eight was? Eight. You just told me that was seven. Eight. Find the one that has eight, 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 eight spots eight. on it. Find the one that has eight spots on it. and you went over three dots. That's eight. Okay. That's eight. Now where's nine? Maybe yeah. I just told you which one was nine. Very good. Now we have to put them all away so we can work on letters. Okay. But how do you talk to why number two hunt? No, we're done with number two hunt. I no, have another number two thing later, okay? Yeah. It's almost 11.30 which means it's getting close to lunchtime for us. Um, my oldest is upstairs listening to an audiobook. She's reading In the Reign of Terror. And it was um, just becoming daunting to her. The The copy that we have, it's like really small print and the chapters are really long. So it's just becoming overwhelming. So we got the audiobook so she can listen to it while she reads, while she looks at the book. Um, so... She's upstairs doing that. Uh, she just took a math quiz, so I'm gonna grade that for her. So then if she missed anything, we can go over it. And uh, I'll show you what everybody else has been working on. All right, so my nine-year-old is about to start her fix-it grammar. Um, I should do like a whole like video about this. Maybe I'll sit down later and do that. Um, she just started, we're on the nose tree, so she's actually in week six of it. We just started it um, after our Christmas break. So, uh, so far she's doing really good with it. So, we're going to be working on that. My little guy still needs to clean up his magnets. He was, <laughs> he took all the number magnets out and sorted them and we, he counted like how many there were of each number and things like that. Um, we are going to be reading this book after we read in my nine-year-old's America's story about the Trail of Tears. We're going to start this chapter book today, and then we're going to do a couple of these out of here, Two Truths and a Lie. We'll do that all together. Uh, my nine-year-old did work on her in that clip. I, the clip of us working, she was working on spelling. You see, she's doing... Um, level C and I don't we don't have the um, student books so I just type it um, type it up and print it out for her and then print out pages for her to write on um, so yeah that's what's happening now okay so my little guy's playing in the playroom right now um, I'm going to 
do some dishes really quick and get all the breakfast dishes into the dishwasher. I try to do that before lunch. It makes life a lot easier if I can get it done before lunch. So I'm going to work on that now. I also wanted to mention while I'm doing that, when you listen to an audiobook, um, that's usually when I listen to audiobooks, when I'm cooking and cleaning, um, I'm, I'll put a picture of what I'm listening to right here. Um, the four winds. Um, I love it. Um, I love all of her books. I haven't, there's been a couple that I haven't been able to listen to that have just been, or read, um, that just been difficult for me to read. Um, so I've skipped those, but all the ones I've been able to get through, <laughs> um, I have enjoyed very much. So yeah, I'm going to be listening and cleaning. All right. I just finished grading my oldest's quiz. Um, she got 100, so that's awesome. So I'm just, so I was just gonna figure out the rest of our schedule for this year. Um, so I'm... All right, it is, I don't know, like a quarter to three. Just finished up schoolwork. Um, my oldest and I just were doing her history. So she's doing we're finishing up World Story 2, slowly making our way through it, but I'm fine with that. We fit, she does a lot of extra stuff. She did, she even, we were also doing America's Story, my nine-year-old, and she sat in on that too. So I'm going to show you some of the books we were reading and what we've been doing. All right, so today we were finishing up reading about Henry VIII. And um, then we read a chapter about his daughters. So then we were also looking at this book, which I love. It's so beautiful. Um, we were, um, it has like fam famous figures throughout history and then has like their family tree and lots of little information about all of them. So um, we finished up with the reign of Elizabeth I today. So we went through and read this and then since we were talking about Shakespeare we also talked about and read Shakespeare's family line which is very interesting which we learned that his family line ended with his granddaughter so it was really interesting uh let's see let me grab some of the other things we were doing we read the first chapter in this book and we also did the first chapter in this book two truths and a lie and it's like history themed so we were reading about sorry I'm switching hands the options were in a cave footprints on the ceiling basically the cave this one is about ancient um cavity healing techniques <laughs> and then the third one was about these um tablets found in um in uh bath and these tablets that they would put curses on for people stealing their things while they were at the baths because they didn't have you know lockers or things like that so we had to guess which one was not real. So in the comments down below, tell me what you think and see if you're right. Um, so yeah, that's what we've been reading. All right, sorry for the lighting. It's like really cloudy outside. <laughs> um, and we don't have any lights on. We try not to turn the lights on unless I have to, but I think I need to. Um, right now I am going to the younger two are downstairs with daddy. He's home today. My oldest just went upstairs and she's probably on her iPad or something. <laughs> and because we just finished school, I'm going to clean up from lunch and probably get them like an afternoon snack ready soon. We had a kind of a late lunch for us. It was like two o'clock, not two o'clock. One o'clock? I don't know. I don't even know what time it was we ate lunch. Um, maybe one thirty, something around there. Um, also, uh, my 13 year old, one of her new chores is washing the towels. So I got to get her to put a load of towels in. 
and I'm gonna see what kind of organization cleaning I can get done today. It's kind of been my goals, like have like one project a day to get done. So I'm gonna try to find something to do after I do the dishes. All right, finished the lunch dishes. I, it's now like 10 after three. I was planning to clean the playroom, but I don't know. I looked in there and I, and Dax had been playing in there and kind of been a mess and I didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> so I'm actually upstairs in my bedroom and um, I am going to do some mental chores instead. <laughs> some planning and um researching i have started researching ninth grade curriculum for next year um i think writing and math i'm pretty set on but other than that i i don't know what we're doing so i've been researching um all that watching lots of youtube videos and um just, yeah, searching, seeing what we want to use next year. So um, well, while I'm on my computer, I opened it up and I wanted to show you that. So my oldest and I, um, in the in world history, in world, in world story and America's story too, a lot of times it'll have like, at the back of the chapter, it'll have photos and has like a two page like photo layout. Um, of different things and a lot of times so um it'll be like historical photos and stuff but then also it'll, sometimes it'll be like this is what this place looks like today or whatever so today so anyway a lot of times what we like to do is I go we go on google maps and use you know the little guy you could put into the map so you could see like a street view um, and now that used to be the only way what you could do, but now you can even go into like where people have uploaded photos, like inside buildings, like museums and things like that. So we'll do, we do that. So today we were looking at, um, Hampton Court Palace and it was one of Henry VIII's homes. So that was really cool. We were looking at that today. Um, so that's another like I just kind of a fun tip um it kind of I think it kind of brings places to life more um being able to see it and a lot of times when we're looking at places we'll we'll see like a hotel on the map that's like nearby I'm like oh we can go stay there and see that place so sorry for shaking me I like I'm on the bed and like I moved <laughs> so it's shaky um so yeah that's just a kind of like a little tip of um just like a fun extra thing you could do and it kind of like I feel like it brings it to life a little bit more and it's really interesting you get to see some really cool things and um other than what you're just seeing in the book and kind of gives I think a better idea of where things are because you can kind of find it and then kind of zoom out so that's what we'll do a lot of times we'll kind of like find it and then zoom out and then see like where it is and stuff Another cool thing that we found there on the property is a really cool like playground called Magic Garden, which looks amazing. It looks like a really cool playground. And also there's a hedge maze there, which the kids and I have been, um, we learned if you, I don't know if you saw my video about, um, our science and we were learning about hedges and, um, learning about hedge maze and we talked about hedge mazes and stuff. And, um, yeah, I'll put a link to that video up here. But it was cool that there's actually a hedge maze on the property and we thought it was funny and my daughter thought it was funny that they called there's like this wooded area on the property and it's called the wilderness and it's just kind of funny i'm like well they are in the middle of a city so kind of but yeah so it's, it brings up a lot of discussions and a lot of fun um fun facts you can learn and see really cool things so Google Maps, if you're learning about a certain historical building or something, I definitely recommend it. Um, it's just fun. Um, and yeah, I mentioned a website earlier. It is called Seed of Melanin. I'm like, I knew it was close. 
um, it's the top says representation and empowerment matter. We create both. So I'll definitely put a link down to that down below. Um, it's really interesting. Like there's a lot of really good content, um, really good products. Um, so it says, let's see if I can find it. There's actually, um, the funny thing is, is that has a pioneer spotlight on the website and it happened. Um, I guess it's for the week cause it was there yesterday and today. I don't know, or maybe I don't know how often they change it, but, um, it was the inventor that Dax had chosen to learn about more about, um, was Garrett Morgan. Um, and their web, their, um, YouTube channel is Seed of Melanin Kids. And I'll also link that down below too. Definitely check it out if you're looking for some videos for kids and, uh, just info when they have, um, am I thinking? Yeah, like printables and projects, project ideas and stuff like that. Definitely recommend it. Uh, looks like a, from everything I've seen so far, it looks like a really good resource. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do some research. If you guys, anybody out there has done ninth grade homeschooled, um, let me know down below if you guys, if you have any favorites, favorite curriculums that you've done. Even ma like I said, math and writing, I think I'm good. But if you have something you really loved, comment down below. Let me know. I'm definitely, um, just looking and trying to figure out what we're going to do. It's getting kind of intense now. So yeah. All right. I will um, check in later. Um, we're going to have chicken tacos for dinner tonight, I think. Um, or something along those lines. I don't know. I have chicken. I have like taco seasoning. So something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure yet. <laughs> um, so I'll probably do that soon i don't know i'm probably gonna do this till like around four and then i probably will still end up getting some cleaning or organizing done today but yeah. all right i'll see you guys in a bit all right it is and i think it's like a quarter to nine not no i'm sorry not a quarter to nine i've lost track of time it's a quarter to eight <laughs> this guy would not be awake if it was a quarter to nine right dex no mm -mm. so dax and i are gonna read a book it is called Poppy the Pirate Dog and the Missing Treasure. And we usually read a book before bed, almost every night. Some nights when I'm just tired and I'm all done, um, I will let him look watch a book read aloud video. Um, but tonight we're going to read and he's going to eat some Cheerios for a little snack before bed, right? Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. No. Only because he didn't really eat a lot of dinner. So, I know he's probably hungry, right? Yes, I am. You did okay at dinner, but not great. So, we just had um some leftover, um, like, noodle, like a stir-fry noodle dish. I don't even know what to call it. With some pork and veggies um, and stuff in it. And we had some gluten-free egg rolls, which were delicious. Hey, Dunks. You can't see anything. What are you trying to be? Oh. Right. All right, let me finish, okay? I didn't, uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, I don't know. Be careful. All right. <laughs> let me finish, okay? Okay. All right, so that's it. So I'm going to lay read to him and lay here with him until he falls asleep. Mm. And then I'm going to probably go read for a little bit and then watch Seinfeld. We've been, like, binging Seinfeld. Um, just because it's kind of mm, mind, you know. Mm entertainment that I don't have to think about and just I can just put it on and zone out for the night um I am reading a book called I Must Betray You by Ruta Ruta Septis I believe I'll put a picture up here um it's so good I've read a few of her other books amazing I highly recommend them they are listed as like um I want to say they're like teen. I've seen them listed as like teen. Um, I would say young adult is what I would consider them. 
um, historical fiction, but they're so good. This one um, is actually about, takes place in 1989 in Romania. It's so good. Um, definitely a time period you don't read a lot about, but just the, she really draws you into the characters and makes you um, definitely feel for them. And uh, yeah, good. I highly recommend her. Um, and yeah, and then I'm, like I said, I'll probably just watch some Seinfeld after that and fall asleep. <laughs> sleep. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this day in our life. Um, I didn't film as much as I planned to or that I wanted to. Um, but I kind of gave you a little glimpse of um, kind of our daily schedule. Um, so I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, I have a few videos that I'm planning to film this week, so hopefully that happens. Um, yeah, so say goodnight, bud. Good night. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.